Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for logging on. Today we are going to be unboxing a pen from a micro brand from the pen world. And it's a very interesting rollerball pen. It's by the company Scrivener from London. They are a UK based brand. And today we're gonna check out one of their very popular offerings on Amazon. And I came across this and I wanted to give it a shot. So I bought it and here it is. So we're gonna go ahead, unbox, review and test this pen out. And yep, that's the plan for today. So as you can see, it comes in this typical cardboard boxing, has Scrivener written in gold font with the S logo. Nothing fancy, just your typical standard box, has a barcode on one side. Let's take it out, see what's inside. So you just open it up like any other cardboard box. And inside you have another box is the primary box you can see that this is also made of cardboard black in color has a little bit of texturing nothing fancy not particularly amazing finishing but it just it serves a purpose it's again written scrivener in gold font i'm hoping i'm pronouncing that correctly based in london and yeah nothing much else to describe let's take it out of the box it just opens up like that and here's the pen so this is their rollerball pen and I have chosen the color British Racing Green with the chrome silver application appointments and it is a beautiful looking pen I must say. It looks really nice on the pictures and as you can see here uh, it is a very different kind of color for a pen and yeah so it's made of brass with green lacquer finish and silver chrome appointments. The nib, the clip looks very nice. It has linear striations. As a design element, we have the Scrivener S logo on the cap. And then it says Scrivener on the other side as well. The top cap has a very nice looking pearl like finish with the S logo inside a blue and green aqua teal type of pearl and it changes with the light as you can see that is really nice the silver chrome appointments really stand out as you can see there's two silver chrome appointments on the top cap then also on the bottom end of the top cap and then at the end of the main pen itself the body of the pen also has it and yeah shines really nice I believe the lighting that I'm using is preventing you guys from seeing the color as is so I'm just gonna use this as a background yeah there's a lot of reflection so I, I do encourage you guys to check it out on their website and on Amazon so you can get a true sense of the color itself it's a very very nice emerald British British racing green and uh, I highly encourage you guys to check this out. It's a very beautiful looking pen. Feels very nice in the hand. Nice, decent weight. And let's open it up. So, yep, that's how it looks like when you open it up. Silver appointments. I like the design of the, cap, of the nib and the barrel. Just open it up like any typical rollerball pen and then they are using a Schmidt liquid refill the safety ceramic roller that they provided they also have I think in the description list that they're giving uh, an extra refill so we're gonna check that out in a bit it's a non dry refill made in Germany made by Schmidt medium point display and test it out so what it looks like okay beautifully crafted I believe I sensed a spring down there so let's see yeah there's definitely a spring and the advantage is that you know it, it makes for much more smoother writing when you have a spring loaded and some of the pens that I have there's no spring at the bottom so the writing is not as smooth it's not bad but this definitely helps so you just screw it back down whenever you get a new refill and you're all set now you can see there is a white plastic in the lining and that's for protecting the enclosure for 
protecting the barrel from scratching when you open and close. It is a friction operated system. Actually, it's, it's not just friction operated. Look, I, I think there's a little bit of magnetic catcher. Yeah, there's a magnetic catcher in there as well. So it's not just pure friction. There's a magnetic catcher and it's a very satisfying click. So that's very nice. That's a very nice finishing touch. Beautiful. I really like that. Right. So pen posts really well. It feels very comfortable in the hand. Let's test it out. But before we do that, let's see what else is in the packaging. They mentioned an extra refill. All right, so if you open the case up, you can see that they have provided an extra refill in there. And then there's a free warranty extension card. If you register, you get another warranty. So we're gonna do that, obviously. All right, what kind of refill have they sent us? This nice package. I believe it's the same one. That is very nice. If they did. Oh, there's an extra spring in there. I don't know what that's for. Maybe if the spring wears out. So that's pretty cool if they're providing that. Okay. So this is the refill. Okay. Same exact one that we have. So it's good that they, we have a spare one. I do write a lot, so that's an advantage. And there's an extra spring also good so let's just put all that back in there all right and by the way just describing the packaging so it's all gold finished and cardboard nothing spectacular but it's it's, a, it's decent packaging not bad let's close it up from the side now let's check the pin out so test it out all right Writing with gloves is a little bit hard, but that's the test. Let's see. It's very smooth, medium point. A little bit hard with the gloves. Let's do it without gloves. All right, the same thing again. Feels very nice in the hand, very comfortable. Very smooth writing. No resistance, no friction and uh, ink flows very smoothly, no hesitation, no stagger. Let's try a line test. So let's zoom it in a little bit for you guys. All good. Let's do a spiral. Reverse. Vertical line. No problems, guys. Let's try writing like this. Yep, no stagger, no friction, no resistance whatsoever. And it's very precise. Yeah. Yeah, this is very good. I like the refill and I like the feel of the pen. This is very premium feeling. And I got this from Amazon for $28, which is not a bad price at all for the kind of pen that you're getting for quality. Now, one thing I would have liked is the clip to be a little bit more premium feeling. I don't necessarily like this design very much, but it's very functional, it's very strong, and I think it's very solid as well. But if they had, you know, a, a nicer system or maybe a more premium feeling nib, a clip, sorry, it would have been, would have, you know, really uplifted the pen. But as it stands, it's very good for, for the price. And I highly encourage you guys, uh, if you're looking for a pen, especially in this particular color, you know, do give it a shot. Do check it out. Check out their website. They're an independent micro brand. And I think you guys will be surprised at what you can get for the price. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for viewing this video. Do share, like, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more content. Let me know what you guys think of the pen. And I'll post a link in the description to the Amazon link where I got this from. And yeah, until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.